To solve this data sufficiency question, we'll consider each statement separately first and then together if needed. Before diving into the statements, let's go ahead and take a look at what the question actually is asking and the information that we can extract from it. We need to determine whether we can find a value for how many people liked both vegetables. Let's call that B. Based off of the information given in the tables, along with overlapping set knowledge, we know that the people who like at least one of the vegetables The people who like at least one vegetable uh, should equal all of the people who like broccoli, so here we have 60, plus all of the people who like Brussels sprouts, which would be 55, minus those who like both vegetables, we'll call that B, as we defined before. Uh, if we simplify this a little bit, we end up with a 115 minus B. So if we can determine how many people like at least one of the vegetables, we can find B and answer the question. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at statement one. For statement one, we're given that 90 people did not respond like for either vegetable. Uh, that's in our, sorry, uh, that's in our statement one. 90 people did not respond like for either vegetable. Since the people who did not, or the people who like at least one of the vegetables equals uh, the total surveyed. So let's let, slide down and write this down. So we have that the people who like uh, at least one, of the vegetables uh, is going to equal uh, the total people surveyed minus the people who did not or who did not respond to like for either vegetable. So kind of interpreting what this means and writing down the given information that we have, uh, the people that liked at least one of the vegetables we said was our 115 minus B. So replacing that, the left side of our equation with 115 minus B equals the total people surveyed, if we scroll back up, it says in our question, uh, the table indicates the results of 200 people who were surveyed. Uh, so we have that the total people surveyed are 200 minus those who did not respond like for either vegetable, that's our statement one. 90 people did not respond like for either vegetable, so minus 90. This is an equation that we can actually solve for B um, and get a value for B. And remember that B was actually uh, the value that we were looking for, how many people surveyed liked both vegetables. So we have an equation where we can actually find a numeric value for B, so this statement alone is sufficient. So let's scroll back up and mark that off, that this statement one is sufficient. We'll mark that over here. And we can eliminate answer choices B, C, and E. That leaves us with choice A or D, and those depend on what statement two does. So let's go ahead and scroll back down and consider statement two. For statement two, we're given that 25 people dislike both vegetables. This doesn't give us any information about the number of people who like at least one of the vegetables, nor any information about any category involving 
those people who like only one or both of the vegetables. So we won't have enough information to find a definitive value for our B, uh, the variable that we're looking for. Uh, to verify, we can actually pick a couple different scenarios that would still hold true when 25 people dislike both vegetables. So let's go ahead and just jot down those different, a couple different scenarios uh, to verify uh, that we don't have enough information. So the first scenario is suppose if the number of people who like broccoli is 45. I would should say only like broccoli. And um, we'll slide down for some more space. Uh, those who only like Brussels sprouts let's say is 40 and those who like both is 15. And those who like both actually represents our B. So that's one scenario. Um, and in that case, uh, it all, all of those kind of sum to the appropriate amounts in our table uh, if we go through and do that. Uh, but let's look at another case. Uh, suppose that we have those who only like broccoli are say 35 and those who only like Brussels sprouts is say 30 and then if those who like both uh, would be 25, that would equal B. Now in both of these scenarios, uh, we have that uh, 25 people dislike both vegetables because they're not affected um, regardless of these breakdowns. So we have two different scenarios where our B would be different values, but everything is still satisfied in terms of our uh, table and our uh, breakdown of um, different categories that we have for these guys. So regardless of um, 25 people disliking both vegetables, uh, our B could, there could be a couple different scenarios. And because of that, this statement alone is not sufficient. Uh, we can't kind of pinpoint what our B would be just because we don't have other information. So this statement alone is not sufficient. And if we scroll back up, uh, we can actually eliminate answer choice D, and the correct answer would be answer choice A. Statement 1 alone is sufficient, but statement 2 alone is not sufficient.